to another day of fun and learning. Before we formally start our lesson, let's have first a short prayer. Let us pray. Dear God, we pray that you will uplift those who are broken in spirit, shelter those in need of care, heal the brokenhearted, relieve the pain of those who suffer, and bring peace and love to all. Amen. Good morning, class. Who is absent today? Very good. Perfect attendance. Before we formally start our discussion, let's have first a short game. Do you want the game? Okay, so we will have a short game. All you need to do is complete the square at the right by evaluating the algebraic expressions at the left. For example, we have A minus C. What will be the number assigned to letter A and what will be the number assigned to letter C so that if we will subtract those two numbers, it will give us the answer negative 2. Same as true with A minus B. What will be the value of A and what will be the value of B so that if we will subtract those two numbers, it will give us the answer positive 2. Did you follow class? So in one minute, you will finish the activity. After you completed the square at the right, you will answer the question, why it is called a magic square. Did you follow class? Okay, so let's start. I will give you one minute to finish the activity. I will group you into five. So this will be the group one, group two, group three, group 4 and group 5. For those group who will get the correct answer, I will give plus 10 points on your daily recitation. Did you follow class? Okay, so we will start the activity. So the time starts now. I just want to remind you that you must stay on your seats since we are in alert level 1. So we must avoid physical contact so the score of each member will be considered as the score of your group after one minute you must raise your answers thank you so you may now start <laughs> substitute the value of each letter then do the operation what will be the value of a very good so the value of a is equal to five how about letter b very good so letter b is equal to three and how about letter c very good so the value of letter c is equal to seven therefore we have the answers we will read it horizontally we have two one twelve fifteen five negative five negative two nine and eight now my question is why do we call it a magic square anyone from the class yes very good so we call it the magic square because if we will add the numbers horizontally and vertically it will give us the sum of 15. why it is important to express our feelings and emotions for example if we are sad if we are happy so why do we need to uh, say our feelings and emotions Anyone from the class? Very good! So that they know what we 
feel. Sometimes we use letters to represent our feelings. For example, LOL, laughing out loud, or OTW, on the way. What do you think is our lesson for today? Very good! So, it is all about evaluating algebraic expressions. Please read what are the objectives of our lesson for today. Anyone from the class? Thank you. So, we have here the first objective of our lesson for today. We will identify how to evaluate algebraic expressions using the given values of each letter or variable. The second one, we will evaluate algebraic expressions or solve algebraic expressions using the given values of each letter or variable. And the last one, we will solve real-life situations or problems that involves the concepts of algebraic expressions. We have also the definition of terms for us to be familiarized with the word or words used in our lesson. First, we have algebraic expression. So, when we say algebraic expression, it is an expression which includes the variables, constants, and coefficients. It is also includes the algebraic operations, either addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. We have also the variable. So, when we say variable, it is a letter whose value is unknown to us. So, we need to find the value of that a letter or variable the next one is the coefficient so when we say coefficient it is the number beside the variable when the variable and number combine together we will use the operation multiplication and the last one we have the constant so when we say constant it contains only numbers we have here an example which is 3x plus 5y. As you have seen in our example, we have the numbers 3 and 5 which is what we call the coefficients and we have also the letters x and y what we call the variables. We have here another example. Mark is 8 years old. On Sunday, his parents are planning to watch movie after attending mass. The prices of movie tickets are 200 pesos for adults and 150 pesos for children 10 years old and below. Now, if X is the number of adults and Y is the number of children, compute how much will they pay for movie tickets if A. Only Mark and his parents will watch the movie and B. Mark, his parents and his 5-year-old cousin will watch the movie. To solve the problem, we need to compute for the amount of tickets needed by substituting the values of x and y using the expression 200x plus 150y, wherein x is the number of adults and y is the number of children. So we will use the expression 200x because each ticket paid for each adult it will cost 200 pesos. And for children, we will use the expression 150Y because each ticket costs 150 pesos. We will use the operation addition for us to know the amount of tickets to be paid off. We have here the first problem which is only Mark and his parents will watch the movie. As you have seen the problem, we have only Mark and his parents. So, we have one child and two adults. In our first problem, we have two adults and one child. Using the expression 200x plus 150y, we just simply substitute the number of adults and number of children. So, since we have the expression 200x plus 150y, just simply substitute the value of x which is 2, and the value of y, which is equal to 1. Then, proceed to multiplication. We will now simplify 200 multiplied by 2. It will give us 400 plus 150 multiplied to 1. It will give us 150. Then, proceed to addition. 400 plus 150, it will give us the sum 550 
pesos. Therefore, the amount for the movie ticket for two adults and one child is amounting to 550 pesos. The next problem is Mark his parents and his five-year-old cousin will watch the movie so in our problem his parents so it means that we have two adults and we have two children which is mark and his five-year-old cousin in our second problem we have two adults and two children again using the expression 200x plus 150y we just simply substitute the value of x and the value of y so we have here 200 multiplied by 2 plus 150 multiplied by 2 wherein when we multiply 200 by 2 it will give us 400 plus 150 multiplied by 2 it will give us 300 and then proceed to addition 400 plus 300 it will give us 700 pesos therefore the amount of tickets for two adults and two children will cost 700 pesos any question before we proceed to your activity but first a short review how do we evaluate algebraic expressions? Exactly! So we just assign numbers in each letter, then proceed to the operation. Do you want more games? Okay, so we will have another activity. So here is your activity. Suppose numbers are assigned to some letters as follows. We have O, we're in it is equal to 1, C is equal to 3, I is equal to 2, P is equal to 7, D is equal to 5, L is equal to 6, R is equal to 4, and E is equal to 8. Now, using those values of each letter, name the picture, which is one of the Capitas Frides, and find the numbers that corresponds to each letter, given the sum. As you have seen in the picture, this is one of the beautiful places found in Cavite. We have already clues which is P is equal to 7, C is equal to 3, E is equal to 8, L is equal to 6, O is equal to 1, and O is equal to 1. So there are 6 clues wherein you need to solve the 4 more numbers so that it will be some 38. So, what is the name of this place? You can use the following algebraic expressions below for you to find out the missing letters in the problem. I will give you 3 minutes to finish the activity. Wherein, this will serve as a group activity. So, the score of each member will be the score of your group. Did you follow? So, now, let's start our activity. Just raise your answer when I say time's up. The time starts now.
What's up? Okay, so may I see your answers? Very good. You are all correct. The correct answer is Pico de Loro. So, this place is one of the beautiful places in Cavite. Again, how do we evaluate algebraic expressions? Exactly! So, we will just substitute the value of each letter that do the operation. What do we call the number beside the variable or letter? Very good! So, it is the coefficient. Now, how do you relate algebraic expressions in real-life situations? Or, how do you use the concept of algebraic expressions in solving real-life problems? Exactly! There are many solutions to each problem, but we need to choose the best one. For your individual activity, please do the following in a one-fourth sheet of paper. So, I will give you two minutes to finish the activity. Time's up. Okay, so let us check your activity. Check your own paper and please be honest. Any volunteer who wants to give his answer? Okay, very good. So we have the following answers, which is 1 is equal to 19, number 2 is 31, number 3 is 7, number 4 is 2, and number 5 is 9. Very good. You got the correct answer. Please copy your assignment on your mathematics notebook. Thank you for listening. I hope you've learned a lot. Before we end our discussion, let's have first a short prayer. Let us pray. We bless you, our Lord, who counsels us. We thank you for the input of each person in this room. We thank you for the combined wisdom and knowledge represented here. We thank you for what has been communicated today and how we can use it to be more effective. Amen. Thank you and God bless us all.